So let's just sit cross-legged and just take a little minute, okay? We do this in normal yoga class as well, but for shred, it's really, really important as well because it's just taking a wee minute to kind of come sit down and switch on to what we're going to do rather than just sort of running over, start busting at lunges and all that. So let's just sit and breathe through your nose first of all, okay? Nice deep breaths, that's it. You can shut your eyes if you want to. Nice, big, big, big breaths, okay? And feel your sit bones coming down onto the mat as well. That's all you're doing. Your hands can be in your knees or in between. Just get comfy, okay? And we're breathing through our nose, but as we go on throughout this, obviously you're going to be challenging yourself a bit more. Your heart rate is going to be going up. So when you need to, start exhaling through your mouth, okay? I can't tell you when that will be because it will be different for everyone. But in through the nose and out through the mouth. Do that when you need to. But for now, just through your nose. So just taking a wee minute to just stop and just focus on what we're going to do for half an hour. That's all we're doing, sitting there. And then we're gently just going to open our eyes and stand up and come into temple pose, which is your legs are apart, okay? Your feet are sticking out a wee bit, maybe 45 degrees-ish, not too wide, about here, okay? And we're just going to bend down. Now, when we bend down, watch those knees. Don't go in front of your toes. And we want our knees, your feet should be pointing in the same direction your knees are going, okay? In order to protect those joints. And it's as if you're trying to sit down. So it's a bit of a wide squat, this one. So just come down and just move side to side. Get that pelvis moving. Uh-huh, might be a bit creaky this morning. Maybe not. I'm a bit creaky. <laughs> That's it. Feel those knees, warm your knees up. We're just inviting a wee bit of moving in and you can wave side to side if you want. Loosen up a wee bit. That's all I'm trying to do here. Right, so come back up and we're going to inhale, raise our hands up. That's it. And exhale, come back down. Okay, so we're coming back down to squat when we exhale. So inhale. Arms up, push right up, exhale, arms down. Inhale, hands up, feel those wee thighs working, exhale, down. Remember the where your bum's going, it's going back the way as you are your knees. Inhale, hands up, exhale, hands down, that's it. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, hands down. That's it. Now put your hands on your knees and just give a wee bit more of a side to side. You'll feel that in your glutes. That's it. On your thighs, on your quads. We're just really warming up. Oh, we're on what the whole body, but we're also going to be doing legs and bum today. That's it. Now from here, we're going to take the legs a bit wider and point that foot out. Okay, point your right foot out and bend that knee. Same rules, knee doesn't go over the, the toes. Now, we can rest our elbow lightly on here, very lightly, we're not dumping here, and take your hand up, and we'll do an extended side angle pose. You're getting a nice stretch from those fingers right down to your toes. Then we're gonna circle the arm back and down, and circle, basically. That's all you're doing. Feel that shoulder opening up, okay? Shouldn't be painful if it's too painful. Just stick with your arm in the side angle pose. Now go the other way as well. Go the opposite way from which we're going. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And then come back up. Okay, so we come back up to the middle. Hands are out to the side. Legs are still apart. And turn the left hand, the left foot out even. Bend that knee, okay? This back foot is either straight or it's about 45 degrees. Play about with it, okay? And this knee is nice and straight as well, okay? Elbow down and do your nice stretch. Feel how that opens the side of your body. And then we're going to circle the arm right down. Get that shoulder girdle nice and open. That's it. Nice circles. And then go the other way. That's it. Other way. Excellent. So coming back up to the top, zigzag your feet in. That's it. And we're going to come down to a downward dog. So let's come to the front of the mat. Raise your hands up. Look at your thumbs, okay? Push up with your fingertips. Then fold from your hips. Now bend your knees, okay? First fold forward, bend your knees. Hands on the mat. That's it. And just stay here for a wee minute. Loosen up your spine. Then look ahead, straighten the spine, lengthen it, then come down into a plank pose, okay? Now here or here with your knees down, okay? Into plank pose. Then everyone put their knees down and lower down, tops of the feet on the floor, and come up to cobra pose, okay? 
So the shoulders are nice and relaxed. You're looking up if possible. And your, uh, your arms are not braced out. They've got a wee bit of a bend in them. Okay? Tuck those toes and we're going to come up to a downward dog. So lift that bottom up into downward dog. And this is a great full body stretch. Walk the dog, bend one knee at a time. Push the mat away with your hands in front. Your hands are shoulder width apart. And your feet are, short, your feet are hip width apart. That's it. Stretch out those legs and bum and show it's good for everything. That's it. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stay here for a few breaths. Then we're going to look up. Walk towards your hands. That's it. Then we're going to forward fold again. So exhale and bend your knees if you need to and put your hands on the floor. Or you can have your hands on your legs if you can't get your hands on the floor even with your legs bent. As long as they're not just dangling. That's it. Then inhale and look at your thumbs. That's it. And come back to mountain pose. So let's get on with this ready. I think we've done enough warming up. So the first shred we're going to do is kicks of fire lunges. Okay. So a couple of variations. You're basically going to have your hands clasped like this. And you're going to lunge back the way. We'll do one side first, then the other. So four on one side, four on the other. So we're going to lunge back. Okay. Just watch that knee doesn't go in front. And then when you come up, you're going to come up and kick in front of you. Now, you can just lunge if you want, or we'll talk through variations. But basically, that's what we're going to do. I'll start the timer. You don't need to worry about that. So let's go. So we're going to lunge back, kick, lunge back. Get your bearings on this first shred. Lunge back, kick, lunge back, kick. Do whatever side you want at first, as long as you're doing four on one side. Kick. Lunge back. Kick. That's it. And just walk it out side to side. Or just recover. It's your first one. So, variations. You can just lunge back and up. Lunge back and up. Or if that's too much, have your feet hip width apart and just come gently down into a squat. Okay, but only if you really need to. So we're lunging back and kicking. Doesn't matter how high your foot comes, okay? Lunge back, kick. Lunge back, kick. Recover. That's two done in this side already. Wasn't that quick? <laughs> what well, side to side. Remember to start breathing through your mouth if you need to. That's it. Lunge back, kick. Lunge back, kick. Keep going. See if you can get that leg higher. Kick, kick, only a few seconds to go, kick, 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 oh, walk it out side to side, only one more on this side, hopefully the heart rate is starting to get a wee bit more, so remember your variation, you can just be doing this if you want, and you should be feeling this, when you're lunging back, inner thighs, and this thigh that's on the floor as well, the standing leg, you'll feel it. Kick, lunge back, kick, lunge back, kick. That's it, lunge back and kick. That's one side done. So do the other side. Remember, take your time in the first one to get your balance, okay? It's not a competition. <laughs> so lunge back, kick, lunge back and a kick. Or just lunge back. Or squat. That's absolutely fine. As long as you're moving and as long as you're challenging yourself, okay? Kick. Lunge back. Kick. Walk it out side to side. Stretch your arms if you want to. Hopefully your legs are feeling this. <laughs> so let's go again. Lunge back and kick. Lunge back and kick. That's it. Keep going. Lunge back and kick. Lunge back, kick. Keep going. Just a couple more. <laughs> Five seconds. Kick. There we go. Nearly there. Then we can have a nice drink of water. I hope you're starting to get out of breath. At least a bit. That's it. So remember, we're lunging back, coming up. Or we're lunging back and kicking. Okay, if this is too easy, put some ankle weights on. <laughs> That's it. Kick. Kick. And kick. 
Right, nearly there. Hopefully you're feeling that in your quads and your glutes. And in here as well. That's it. So, last one. Lunge back. Kick. Lunge back. Kick. Keep going. Last one. Kick. Lunge back. Kick. Lunge back. Kick. Lunge back. Kick. Get one more in. Kick. Woo, rest out side to side. And take a wee drink of water if you want to. Woo. First one done. <laughs> so take a wee drink of water. Just take a minute. That's it. Then we're going to do a wee counter stretch for that. So we're going to take our legs wide. Now your feet are parallel. Pointing forward. And you don't have to have them straight. Don't have them locked out. Have a tiny, tiny, tiny wee bend in them. And we're going to put our hands on our hips. Inhale, lengthen that spine. And then fold forward, okay? So your feet are still parallel. They're not pointing out this time. And if you can, put your hands on the mat, okay? If your hands are on the mat, walk them back to between your legs. Inhale and then fold forward. Now, you can have your hands on your legs if they don't reach the floor. But oh, have nice deep exhales. So inhale through your nose and uh, out through your mouth. And your weight is on your toes. You should be feeling this right up the back of your legs and in those glutes. That's it. <sighs> nice big, big exhales, okay? Get all that oxygen coming in and feed your wee muscles. So look up wherever you are. That's it. And then we're going to put our hands on our hips again. Have a wee exhale here and come right the way up. Now bring your legs in just a wee bit, okay, back to that tempo that we started with. So they're not quite a leg length apart and your feet are now pointing about 45 degrees. It's really important because we're going to come down again, okay, and exhale. Remember, it's like you're sitting down and then up. That's it. So you're going to go exhale and inhale and just try and get your breathing back if you didn't have it there in the first place. <laughs> Depends how out of breath you are. And just slow down here for a minute. And we're going to go on to the next one in just a little second. So we are going to stay in this tempo pose, okay? Because we're going to be doing tempo fists of fire, okay? We'll be doing two variations of them, which I'll show you. Now, remember, we've established how we should be standing with your legs apart, wider than hips, but not really, really wide apart. And when you squat down, your knees and your hips are going back, okay? Maybe done this in the gym a couple of times, okay? But you're going to be coming down, and then when you, your hands are out the front when you're down, and you come up and your fists come into the side. So it's bringing your shoulders into this a little bit as well. So we'll do that first. Then, after four rounds of that, we're going to bring our feet in to hip width apart and do more like a traditional squat. Same thing, knees and hips back, okay? Knees and hips back. Watch, you can still see those in go as deep as you want, okay? So I'll keep you right, don't worry. Let me set my timer. Right, let's go. So, tempo pose, arms out and up. There we go. Now, you start off thinking, oh, this is a, this doesn't feel too bad. <laughs> but then, yeah, but round five, you're like that. So speed is maybe more of the essence here. You can go slow and controlled if you want. That's one done already. Stretch it out however you like. So go a bit faster if you think this is, I don't know, not quite as hard. Go faster and that gets your heart rate up. Remember those fists? You're coming straight back up, popping those hips up and squatting down as if you're sitting on something behind you. So keep going, go as fast as you want. Remember those knees are going in the same direction as your toes, okay? So we've done two of that type. Stretch off, get ready again, squat down, up, okay? So inhale, exhale, through the mouth, okay? If you ain't breathing heavy, you're not working hard enough, so get moving. That's it. <sighs> 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 
There we go, another one done. So stretch off. You can do side to side with your hands and the knees. Give your wee quads and glutes a wee stretch. Let's go. Exhale. That's it. Go faster. If it's not working for you, you are the best judge here, not me. I can't see. There we go. Keep going. Well done. So, let's just stretch it out. Side to side. Ooh, right, variation. Feet in, parallel this time. Line them up your hips and we're coming down. Still doing the fists. So more like a squat. Okay. Can you see your toes? Are, is your weight in your heels? If not, sort it out. <laughs> Remember, speed here can be a wee bit more effective. Usually I say, be careful and all that, but speed can really get your heart rate up in this one. Let's go again. You want to feel that at the end of eight rounds, right? That's, I've had enough. <laughs> Keep going. If you've got a kettlebell, you can be holding on to that and doing it nice and slow and controlled if you want. If you've got a kettlebell, but no skiving. Concentrating that breathing, getting the oxygen in, feed those wee muscles. Let's go. Two more. Nice. The fetal pelvis is popping forward. That's it. Keep your breathing going. So, hope you're feeling this in your quads and your glutes. And you should be pretty out of breath. If you're not, go faster. Last one, come on. Make this one count. I know that's a typical saying, isn't it? But it's your last one. Last few squats. Only got five seconds to go. Rest it out, walk out from side to side. Oh. So, in through the nose, remember, out through the mouth. Woo, second shred done. Keep a wee eye on my time, always get carried away. As you know, take a drink of water, really, really important to take a drink of water because if you're sweating, well, you have to drink water anyway, but you need to replace what you're losing as well. So, we will do a little counter stretch to that and we'll go on and do our third and final shred in a minute. So come to the top of your mat, standing nice and tall in mountain pose. Raise your hands up, look at those thumbs, push with your fingertips, then fold forward. Bend those knees if you need to. Feel that right the way up your hamstrings into your glutes. That's it. Inhale, look forward, straighten your spine. Hands down, you can jump or step back into plank. Let's hold this plank, shall we? Knees can be down, remember. Let's hold this plank. Shoulders are above your wrists. I hope you're sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> That's it. Now pop your knees down and lower right down. Hands are in at your rib cage. Tops of the feet are on the floor. And come up to cobra. Lovely frontal. Because everyone kind of thinks this is a back bend, which it is. But it's also a super duper frontal flexion as well. That's it. So looking up, tuck those toes at the back and engage that core and come up to downward dog. Try and do it in a worry, okay? So up and back, okay? Now, check in when you're breathing. Big inhale in and a big on the way out. Get rid of that horrible air that's in your lungs. Get some nice fresh air in through your nose. That's it. Now, we are going to just stay here for just a little minute. And then you're going to raise your right leg up in the air, straight up. We're not changing anything. You're just raising your leg up. Hips are square. Bring that leg into your chest like this and bring it forward between your hands. Now, if it doesn't get there, if you get here, lift it 
and bring it. No prizes for getting your leg between your hands. And we're in a runner's lunge now, knee above the ankle. This back leg is as straight as you can get it. You're on the ball of your feet. Put that knee down if you need to, okay? So we're here. That's it. Feel that stretch. And we're going to do a wee twist here. So, right legs forward. Put your left hand on the mat and twist. Remember, the back knee can be down. Feel that in your, this bent leg. You should be feeling that in your hamstrings and your glutes and your core, of course. We're doing a twist. That's it. Then coming back down into a lunge. Now shift this right foot back into a downward dog again. Stretch it out. Push the mat away with your hands. Look towards the back of the mat. Try and get your back nice and straight. If you need to bend your knees to get your back nice and straight, do that. So left leg in the air. Straight up. We're not doing this. We're just lift. If it only goes to there, that's fine. Okay? So left leg up in the air. Knee into your chest and foot forward. Lift up if you need to. So we're here in a runner's lunge again. Feel that stretch. Your adductors and your inner thighs. And we are going to keep your right hand on the floor and your left foot on the floor and come up to a twist there. Okay, now you should be feeling this in your left glute and hamstring. If not, wiggle that foot back and increase the lunge and your core, of course. Okay, hand back down in the mat, shift that foot back and into downward dog. Okay, stretch, 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 then come down on your knees and we'll do our last shred. Okay, so it's going to be running planks. Okay, and you'll have seen variations of this in the gym and different classes and things like this. So just be careful with your wrists and all that. So there's loads and loads of different variations. I'll show you them just now. You can be on your hands. Now remember, bring your shoulders back a bit so they don't need to be stacked because that can hurt your wrist a bit. Do what needs you need to do. And we're up here and we're bringing our leg into our knee, into our tricep, knee to tricep. Okay, so we're doing that. Or you can be down in your four arms, knee to tricep, knee to tricep. Okay, so we'll work through a few different variations as we go on, don't worry. So let's go, final one. So we'll do, um, we're going to do eight rounds of this. We'll do um, different variations of it, so just keep, stay awake. <laughs> there we go. So coming up here, starting your forearms if you want, and you're sort of in a forearm plank, and you're doing knee, knee, knee to, el knee to elbow, knee to tricep. Or as close to, okay. And you feel that in your core, in your legs. That's it. Now, you can feel this is working your shoulders a fair bit as well. Come down. This is your rest period. Sit back up on your feet and stretch. Okay. Now, try and go up on your hands, okay? Try and go up on your feet and there. Okay. Side, side, side. Okay. And if that's too much for your wrists, go down on to your forearms. That's it. Side, side. Now you can be down on your knees as well and coming in. There's a bit less room, but you can do it on your knees back for another rest. So we'll do another couple of these type and I'll show you, you can speed it up as well if this is far too easy for you. Kind of up in your hands and of course you can be running. That's it. Make sure that knee's coming out to the elbow. That's it. Keep going. Come down. So by now, you should kind of know what variation suits you. Only be on your forearms if your wrists are sore, not just because you want a scythe. Okay? <laughs> Put your arms down. And you're up here. If even this is too much for you, you can be down there doing it. Not a lot of room. Okay? But it depends on your mobility. This is for everybody, remember? Go as fast or as slow as you want. Right, four done. So we're going to add a twist, literally. So stretch it off. Your knee is going to come to the opposite elbow, okay? So come down into your variation and take it slow for the first one. Knee to opposite elbow. Remember that breathing. If you're not breathing right, then 
You're not going to get very far. <laughs> That's it. <sighs> right, so we're crossing over. Same variations as before. Might not be as much room in the other variations, but... <sighs> That's it, come down. So you can be on your forearms, on your knees and crossing over. Not a lot of room, but it depends on your mobility. Come up and you're crossing over. That's it. Your bum will need to come up a wee bit higher in this one, just to give you the room to shift. Or you can be up here. Ah, only a couple more to go. Then we'll have a nice stretch. That's it. Stretch off. Then come back down into that variation. That's it. Go as fast or as slow as you want. Remember, we're crossing over. A few seconds. Come down and stretch. Remember that counter stretch. This is really good to stretch your shoulders out because regardless of what variation you're doing, you're using your shoulders. In some way, last one. Let's go. Here we go. Go as fast or as slow as you want. Be mindful of those wrists. Don't want your wrists killing you. There we go. Sit back in those heels. Stretch the soles of your feet. And interlace your hands. Push them down. Woo! Da da da! I like the wee trumpets at the end. Always a good sound. Take a wee drink of water. And we're going to have a quick stretch off. So let's lie down. Okay. And just raise your feet up. So you're lying flat on the floor. Your feet are up. They don't need to be straight. Okay. They can just be here. If you've got a block, you can put that under your bottom if you want, okay, and just raise your, your knees up, drain all those toxins out by inverting like this, really, really good for detoxifying, we've really got them all moving this morning, I hope you're sweating as much as me, that's it, and then put your feet down, that's it, if you've got the block under you just stay there because we're going to take a big stretch from toes to hands, point the toes, point the fingers, feel that lovely stretch, and if you've got the block, you'll feel an even bigger stretch up over your core, that's it, take the block away if you've got it down there, that's it, nice big stretch, and just lie, put your legs out to the side of the mat, and just lie here just for a second, what's still happening when you're breathing? In through the nose, out through the mouth, unless you can just do it through your, your nose, that's fine. And have a wee word with yourself. How am I feeling now? Am I feeling better than I did half an hour ago? Am I feeling more energised? Or am I having a rubbish day? And I feel just feel knackered. Any of the above are fine. Point is, you hit the mat and you got on with it. So either way, you should be feeling proud of yourself. Had a wee calorie burn in here this morning. Had a wee stretch. That's it, and we're gently going to sit up. So come onto your side first, because we've been doing a fair ju bit of jumping about. Come onto your side first, and then come up, okay? Cross legs, that's it. Oh, I hope you're as hot and sweaty as me. <laughs> so hands at your heart. Oh, I hope this practice heals and strengthens your body and your mind. Namaste. So thank you so much for joining me for your yoga shred. I hope you're as hot as me. And we'll see you back here again for another shred. Go and pick another uh, type of shred and focus on that side of the body too. But thank you so much and I'll see you again.